Okay, lesson six. It's time to learn beginners rigging and some of the new features in Cartoon Animator 5. Now we have our bones all made and we're going to select our bones and we want to make them move. Cartoon Animator 5 has a new tool called a spring editor. And these are little springs and they actually do things. The default, a rubbery spring, a smooth spring, fast, slow, stiff, weighted, light, stretchy, and squishy. Now these are just little templates. Down here are the actual settings to make things bounce. Now we're going to select the area that we want to be bouncy. And for my little animation, it's going to be very simple, just like our first lesson was. I'm going to select bone two and then shift key to bone nine. This has all the bones and all you have to do is right up here. This section is where you group things together. Now I've already done the group, which is two through nine. And all you have to do is hit this assign to group and it will group it into the default. Now, if you want to make a second one, you can actually just clear off of this one, hit the plus and it'll bring in another group. Now I don't want to go into that lesson right now. So I'm going to undo that. When you select all of them, like I just did, now we can select our settings and you can just click on the presets to get specific settings. If you see the settings here uh, changed 20, 50. This one is 50, 70. This one is 50, 20. This one is 80, 30. Now 80, 30 is the one that I selected and played with and really liked. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. This was a very hard lesson for me. It was like waiting for the light bulb to go off. The reason I say that is that once you have the springs loaded to the object that you're working on, you can only test it by this preview message. So you click the preview button and click which one you want to check. And then you can go down here and you can wiggle it and you can see, is it fast? Is it slow? Is it kind of got the flow you want? But that's about all you can do. You can't see what it's going to do until you actually start the rigging process, which is going to be our next lesson. Have a great day, Diana.